Hey, Math 43, I had a question coming out of chapter 7, and I'm going to do numbers 78 through 80. And here we were told that this furniture company delivers furniture between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., right? So let me just write this as between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So I want to just put here that there was a four-hour window, and I'm sure we've all had this kind of experience, right? For me, it's Comcast. They're like, oh, we'll come out sometimes between 10 and 2. And we were told this had a uniform distribution. So that's a buzzword that I'm hearing, right? And it, if you read the next sentence, it says, we are interested in how long in hours past the 10 a.m. start time that the individuals wait for your delivery. So we're looking at wait time, and this is in hours. So I have this continuous numerical variable, and a lot of times I'll get students that tell me this. This is uniformly distributed from 10 to 2. And let's break this down and talk about why this can't be right. Whenever you talk about a uniform distribution, you always go from low to high, A to B, and A has to be a smaller number than B. So it can't be from 10 to 2 because 10 is a larger number than 2. And what we have to realize is that we're talking about wait times, right? So how long are you waiting? So let's think about what would happen if, if, this, deliver, if this furniture delivery company showed right up at 10, you would have waited zero hours. If they showed up at two, you would have waited four hours. So really what's happening here is that you have a uniform distribution from zero to four. So that's what we're looking at. And that's our answer for 78, right? It's A. And if I wanted to draw the PDF, right, I'll go ahead and label this. So I'll go from zero to four. This is wait time. Oops, why am I not letting the word time come in? There we go. Wait time in hours. Because it's uniform, I'm going to have a rectangle, like so. And this is my range. If I just take a little note here, my range is four hours. So that will make my height here, my probability, one over four. It's reciprocal. All right, now, 79 says, what's the average wait time? Well, we learned that formula in Chapter 5 that when you have a uniform distribution, the average is a plus b over two, and in this case, that's zero plus four over two, which is two hours. And like always, this is not a coincidence, this always happens, your mean is always right there in the middle of your rectangle. Now, the next question is fun, all right? This is usually where we have the most problems. So it says, suppose that it is now past noon on delivery day. So we are given this phrase, suppose this has happened, right? This is a condition. And we've all been here, right? When they say, hey, I'm going to drop this off between 10 and 2, and it's noon, and you're like, oh, man, how much longer am I going to have to wait? Like, what is this likelihood? So we have this condition that it's past noon. All right, now, if it's past noon, imagine this, right? So this is here 10 a.m., right? This is noon. This is 2 p.m., right? So if it's past noon, you know that X is greater than 2. So that is the condition. Your wait time is at least 2 hours at this point. If you want to get technical, it's greater than two because it says it's past noon. It says, what's the probability that a person must wait at least one and a half hours more? Now, if you were going to wait at least one and a half hours more, if it's noon and you go 1.5 more hours, right? So if I go 1.5 more hours here, that is really 3.5 hours overall. So it's saying, what's the probability that someone's going to wait another one and a half hours past two? So if I take two plus 1.5, that's getting me to 3.5. All right, so what's the probability you wait at least one and a half hours more if you've already rated two hours? And with that conditional probability, it starts us on our path with our conditional probability formula from chapter three. So let's refresh our memories here. Let me scooch this up. We know the probability of A given B is the probability of A and B over the probability of B. So when I start to figure this A and B out. Actually, let me highlight a different part. So A in our case is X greater than 3.5. B in our case is X greater than 2. So you see me playing these out, right? I put this in the B position, this in the B position, and I put this one, oops, excuse me, in the A position. All right, now when we talk about ands, right, we're looking for overlap. So where does X being greater than 3.5 and, and X being greater than 2 overlap. So let's remind ourselves over here about the overlap. So here I start with x greater than 2. I'd be an open dot, I'd shade to the right. Here I start with 3.5, open dot, shade to the right. And where do they overlap? They overlap 
when you are greater than 3.5. So that's what my numerator simplifies to. So let me erase some of this because it gets a little crowded. And then let's start to talk about how we solve these. This is going back to chapter five. All right. So this is actually a chapter five question hanging out in a chapter seven problem. All right, but if I go back to my PDF, now I'm gonna scooch back up here and I want X is greater than 3.5. Let me go ahead and it looks like I did this in red. So let me do this rectangle and highlight it in red. All right, so we want, oh, there we go, something like that. Now, this is gonna be base times height because I'm in uniform land. So if I wanna do base times height here, well, I know the height is 1 fourth. The base is high minus low, so that's 4 minus 3.5, and that's going to be 0.5. All right, and that's where you see me getting this 0.5 times 1 fourth down here. Now, for x being greater than 2, let me head over to the orange colored pen. Right, If we go x being greater than 2, and I want to shade to the right of that, all right, I'm over here. Well, if I want to do base times height for that, again, the height is 1 fourth because it's uniform, but now we're doing 4 minus 2, so there's my base. And there, there's where you see me doing 4 minus 2. Ooh, and I see a little typo here. This should not say 4. This should definitely say the number 2. I got it down here, but it looks like I messed that up. So I, I will fix that on your solutions. I found a little typo. And when I clean that up, I get 0.25. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.